Hi there, my beautiful drivers. I'm so hyped for today. You don't even know. I woke up this morning to see that I have 300 subscribers. What? Wow. Hi, all 300 of you. Hi. Hi, you, and you, and you, and you, especially you. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to another video with Thriving in Chaos. If you're new here, you have just clicked on one of my do-it-yourself custom envelope videos in which I take one or more of my envelopes that I use to cash stuff in for my cash envelope system that I'm using for budgeting and I decorate it up and customize it to my liking and preference using very cheap and inexpensive materials, mainly Sharpie and maybe a few rhinestones. So if this is something you might be interested in, continue watching and consider hitting that subscribe button. I would love to have you as part of my family. To all 302 of my current subscribers, Hi, I missed you guys. I tell you, it feels weird when I don't film a video for a couple of days straight. I'm like, something is missing, which I never thought that I would ever feel that way, but I actually do right now. Anyway, so hi guys. I'm so glad you have joined another video with me. I hope you guys enjoy it and that you are having a blessed week. So without further ado, let's get started. <music> So the first thing that we are going to start with is one of my envelopes. Right now I've kind of been working my way through my revolving binder. Kind of want to finish up a binder before I go on to another, but it doesn't mean that I won't throw in, you know, an envelope from another if I got inspired with something. But for right now we're just going to stick with our revolving binder and just work through the envelopes I have in there and customize them the way I want to. So with that being said, we're going to start with eating out. I kind of alluded to this in one of my last videos that this might be the next one. And it is. So I went ahead and I changed the insert here that I use. It's cardstock. And when I had put it in, I kind of was a little rough with it. It was probably one of the first ones I was trying to do because you have to kind of manipulate the cardstock to get it inside to fit all the way because this gets in your way. But I finally made another one so there's no weird creases or anything like that. And it looks brand new and fresh. So that's good. I'm going to try something a little differently because lately I've just been flipping it over and doing it on the back because of the issue with some of this glue sticking from these stickers. But I found some really old, <laughs> really old goof off. I have no idea how this is going to work on this material but I'm willing to give it a shot. I'll be the guinea pig. I don't even know, like, is there a, look how old this can is. Is there a date on this? I don't know. But it has been under my sink for I cannot tell you how long. And you know, it, it removes glue and adhesives and sticker residue. So that's right up my alley and it's something that I actually need. But I just don't know how it's going to work on this material, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So I'm just going to try and do that really quick off camera and get the sticky residue off, let it dry really, really good, and then we'll come back and we will actually do this. Now you won't see any of that process, so literally it's going to be just a one frame. We'll get started. But before I go to work on getting this off, I wanna show you what I'm gonna replace it with this. So I created this. What I did is I found a um, sign that somebody was selling. I don't know why I've been falling into like Amazon and eBay and stuff like that and finding signs and just kind of screenshotting it and then shrinking it down and messing with it. So the sign was actually just the fork and whatever. And so I kind of like split it up and separated them out to where I could do this. I added my font in here. It's relatively small for this envelope, but I think I'm going to like it just because this part is big. 
And yes, I know that this and this doesn't necessarily match up, so I might try and finagle that as I'm working, but we'll see. So anyway, I took all of these images and I put them in my pocket Procreate on my phone and I like smushed it down, spread it out like it was a lot larger than this and then added my font that I like in between. We're going to change it from eating out to dining out because, because you know, we're all adults here. This has other meanings. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. So I feel like dining out is a lot more appropriate and better and I don't feel as awkward saying that. <laughs> Forgive me. Please forgive me. If you know, then you know. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and work on getting this off and I will let you know how it works. Alright, so I guess the stuff worked. It did. This stuff right here. Goof off. Smells horrendous, by the way. Like gasoline. But it did the job. There's no sticky at all. And it didn't seem to affect the plastic in any way. So I let it completely dry and then went ahead and positioned my thing inside of here. I taped it down and we're ready to go. I'm just going to stick with black this time. But I do want to do a second envelope since this one is, again, relatively easy. So I do want to do a second envelope. And it's going to require a lot of different colors. So I hope you guys enjoy that. But let's get this one done and out of the way really quick. And we'll move on to that one. And there she is. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I decided instead of doing the double line that I had going on down here, just to do it one solid line because, you know, it's not really a thin, you know, point. So kind of hard to do very small lines. So I'm gonna put this to the side let it dry and we might come back to it to do a little bit of rhinestone stuff, but until then, let's get to our next envelope, miscellaneous. Just like the last one, I need to take all of this off and clean off the residue that's left from the stickers, let it dry completely, and then we will get to what we're going to do on it. Let me go ahead and show you, and then I'll just go straight into doing it. That's what you'll see next. So this is what we're going to do. It might be a little difficult to see, but this is what it is. These were actually um, letter blocks and somebody had taken a picture of it. It was very pretty. So I decided to take that picture and trace over it using my pocket procreate on my phone. The blocks themselves are obviously jagged, which I kind of like that. All the letters are different styles and sizes, very miscellaneous if you will. So I think my thoughts are I'm going to make the blocks themselves different colors all throughout and then make the letters black. 
so we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm just gonna play by ear as I go, and then what I, you know, want to do as I'm going along. But let me go ahead and show you all the mini colors we have. I don't know if I'm just going to mix them all up, or maybe do like in the rainbow fashion, like this, which would be. Would it be cute? Maybe like this. Maybe like that. Um, which would also be cute. Or I can just mix them all up. I haven't decided yet, so we'll see as I go along but in the meantime I need to work on getting these stickers off so I'm gonna do that off camera the next clip you'll see is me just continuing the process so enjoy watching <music> This took forever, but it was so worth it. Look how beautiful this is. It looks so miscellaneous. <laughs> I decided to go in the style of the rainbow, but I, I've realized that, you know, maybe some of them could have been reversed or moved, but, you know, it, it looks good to me. So, I am going to let this dry completely so that we don't have any issues with it bleeding onto the other envelopes. And this one is all done. So I think that I'm gonna do just a few rhinestones, probably on the handles here, and then maybe like some out here, possibly, definitely here though. So we'll just play around with it and see what we can do. decided that I'm only going to do rhinestones on these and so I'm done. I didn't want to put any on this because I mean I literally have every single color of this in rhinestones but I don't know. I just wasn't feeling it. So what do you guys think? You like? I love. I swear every time I make a new envelope. <laughs> I just love each one of them. They're so different, so unique. I don't know. So, I have something to tell you. Oh, I have been 
so excited to tell you this. My husband got me my very own Cricut Joy. Yes. It doesn't mean I'm going to stop doing these. I love doing these. But I think because I've talked about it a lot and everything, I don't know. But he let me get the Cricut Joy. And so... I only have done one binder so far, but I decided I'm going to use the Cricut Joy and the vinyls to decorate the outside of my binders. Because I know that I interchange my binders, I might interchange my binders later, so I don't want to put any marker on them and then be stuck with that forever. So. This is a good way to decorate the outside and not have to worry that I'm stuck with that permanently. Are you guys ready? Are you ready? I, this is the first time I have ever, ever, ever played with a Cricut. Ever. And so I designed my own thing and uh, here it is. What do you guys think? I love it. I love, love, love it. This part, oh, by the way, it is holographic. But this part right here was so difficult. Like, I really just wanted the letters, but I think because it's such a small lettering, those tiny little letters were getting flipped up and stuff. Either that or I'm just doing it wrong. <laughs> it doesn't matter. That still looks really cute to me. So... What do you guys think? I finally have my binder like this way. So when I present it in my videos, it is the way that it should be. And then I can just, you know, have everything in the same way. You like it guys? Do you like it? And this was like the inside of this, but when I took the inside part out, I was like, well, this is really cute. Although you can see where I like, poked it, but whatever, it still works. What do you think, guys? Oh, I'm so, I'm so excited. Okay, let's get to what we got this binder for. I haven't decorated the other ones yet, but I'm probably going to play around with that throughout the week. So back into my revolving binder. This is where these two envelopes will go. And they are pretty dry I think completely dry actually so I'm gonna go ahead and put these in here where they go so we have groceries we have Sam's my pets I think I think eating out was in front of my pets because that's the next thing logically in my mind so I will put it right there eating out or dining out sorry it's new now dining out my pets extra toiletries beach pass and then miscellaneous oh my gosh this looks so cool i love this i love it i love it so that just leaves to the bank and roll over these last two. So I probably will do that in next week's video to the bank and roll over. I already have this one designed. I have a design for this, but I think I might end up changing it because I'm kind of like, eh, and I don't want to be eh, you know? If I'm gonna do it, I want to be like, this is it. So these two are gonna be next. So what do you guys think? By the way, I'm also going to create several of these things. Although this, not this one, this one I literally just chopped up and put in here really fast because this was uh, transferring onto the other one. And I don't want transference from one to the other. So I want to make some dividers in between here, something I can just quickly get out of the way and it will also collect any transference that happens like this can you see and that way it doesn't happen on my envelopes 
or on the backs of my other envelopes. So I'm gonna come up with some creative ways to make some cute little dividers. Since I don't track these, I won't have budget sheets in between like all the other ones. But I wanna create something uh, visually appealing that will go in between and serve as something of interest, but also a divider to keep this from happening. So let's do a final flip through. We have our groceries, we have sands, we have dining out, we have my pets, extra toiletries, peach pass, miscellaneous. <laughs> I love these. And then the last two are there, all in my revolving binder. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I loved making these envelopes even though it did take a very long time. In fact, it is almost dark outside and I've been working on this since early afternoon. <laughs> it's okay. I really enjoy doing it. But I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And as always, if you are not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Join my family. I would love to have you. Comment below. Let me know how you like these, what you want to see me do next, if you have any thoughts or ideas on what to do for any of these envelopes that you've seen in any of my videos. I would love to hear anything that you want to talk about. I want to talk about it. So comment be active in my comment section and I will gladly talk with you guys. Anyway guys, I hope that you are having a great day and continue to have a great day. Thank you for joining me here and as always, I will see you in the next video which will be our WTF Wednesday. <laughs> I'll see you there. Bye.